Hello everyone. So let's go ahead now and install the client on the Windows server on the Windows system. Sorry, the Velociraptor client. So I'm gonna go and let's say just kind of put the tools over here. So let me copy them from my system first. Okay. So let me copy them uh, from my system uh, first. So give me a second to copy these tools. So we need two things. We need first to copy like the uh, download the Windows binary or the Windows executable. Okay. And also copy the client uh, file from the server. So by the way, just in case, let's say, let's just assume you didn't copy this. I'm just going to rename it just so that we can go ahead and show you how to like uh, copy the file so if we do scp user one because that's where uh, the user i'm using and then 40 and then 149 is the ip of my server okay and then edr and then it's called uh, client.config.yaml and i want to save it over here okay so the password and uh, now I have what the configuration file so we can open it here and see uh, not now I don't want to update now so we can see these are the configurations and the settings we have for the client to connect where to connect with the server now let's go ahead and install the client on the system so all you need to do is really do velociraptor because by the way let me just bring it up one more time uh, so velociraptor once you install it this is what's hap going to happen for the windows installer a the files will be copied to this location and then there will be a windows uh, server called what velociraptor so let's go ahead and get that done so velociraptor and then minus minus config and then the client not this excuse me and then the client config okay you specify that and then we need to install it as a service and by the way you can check the documentation for that and say install this is now going to be installing it and we can actually check that so program files velociraptor you'll see that those files have now been copied over there now let's go to that location actually so if we go there just to see what do we have again i i, I know i showed it to you but uh, so the server is there. Let's check the services and make sure the service is actually running. So we lost our after. We can see it's running. You can also, for example, say, I'm going to restart it if you want. It's up to you. And then after that, now let's log in to our Velociraptor server. So we 192, 168, 40, uh, 149, and then the port is 8999. Or I think, sorry, it was 8889. Yep. And then this is not working. Uh, let's just double check. Uh, I'm going to pause the video just to double check. Okay, by the way, the only thing we forgot to do is this is over HTTPS. So, and it's using a self signed. So that's why we need to just to. So I'm using the password that we did user one and the password you all know what the password is we can see now we are in the dashboard if we go here and search for like clients we can see that these are two clients that we have that's because i already added one and then now for the sake of the recording i added another so we can see that these clients are now up and running okay and velociraptor can actually access them and now you can start working uh, the hunts which are required by you so that's it for this video this is now you have velociraptor up and running and now you can start to do your hunting see you in another video have a good one